so hello and this is going to be just a really quick video to show you how to well sort of how to use dark table the new version 1.0.3 and i must say that i was a obsolete user because the la the latest uh, version that i had from dark table was the 0 0.8 so this has been like a huge change for me but anyway let's just give it a look so you can see how powerful this awesome application can be so uh one of our friends uh mock you can see his gallery in mock tech mock geek at Flickr. uh he has some pretty awesome stuff he sent me a picture who was really mess it up just to say something and you can see that dark table is a really 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 fast application uh, you also need to have some some good uh, hardware it's not that you need uh, the latest nasa computer to make it work but yeah you can say that you you should have something in there anyway it's a pretty pretty cool uh application everything is easy to use even more for for non-technical people like me and when you're working with photography you want to have easy things to to edit mostly just to have selections and easy bars that you can pull in and out so this is the kind of applications that allows you to do things easier and get a nice result so one of the coolest thing about this application is that it doesn't matter how many plugins you have activated i only have half because i'm still playing with those i hope to have more videos lately is that it doesn't matter how many you have uh, they will be grouped depending on the effects that that they can make so if you want to edit stuff related to color you will see that you can open them in the same group or just collapse them which is pretty pretty cool anyway uh i was playing around earlier with this picture and this guy is just completely amazing the problem is that if i go with exposure and i increase it just to see the back the the foreground i mean this guy is going to mess up and that's not what we want to do because the sky is the well the most amazing thing in the picture however if you start working around the plugins you will find out that there are things that can actually make you uh, have a better picture one of the coolest things i found thanks to dark table help i'm gonna open my irc just to so you can see where you can find some help or just hang out and you know step by and say thank you they deserve it it's the shadows and highlights i didn't have that in the super super old version that i was working with but this is pretty amazing just see how easy it is to bring the ground to color and that's it so it's pretty awesome just to see that you can change radically a picture just moving some stuff and you don't require to be the most amazing photographer or just a, a, I don't know a, a specialist in design and that kind of things anyway that's the shadows and highlights you can activate as I said uh, all the plugins that you can imagine and those that you cannot imagine too this is the shadows and highlight I only have to click to have it in there but you can also do some cool things like this I mean I can manipulate the shadows and the highlights depending on those let's see what else do I have one of the coolest things about this picture is the sky but for me this is the most amazing part of it but this is a lack of it's having a lack of interest so the graduated density is a, a really awesome plugin that would let you you know just to to, to to explain it in an easier way it's just adding technically a gradient in a different color that you can merge 
let's just say using all the modes that you can find in an, any uh, design application. I mean, you can multiply, you can make an addition, overlay, anything. I don't want to do that right now. What I do want to do is to increase the color saturation of the sky. And the cool thing is that now the sky is burning. That makes the sky much interesting. I'm just crazy going with the color so you can do anything that you want to make it interesting depending on the results that you want. Let's see. Another interesting plugin that I found new uh, is the color contrast. I like to do a lot of uh, vintage addition and you know it's just to play with the colors I think it's the, the coolest thing that you can do. So you can edit the colors in a really easy way using this plugin. So what happens if you mess it up and you don't want to use it or you want to start all over again? You can reset the parameters or just switch off. And that's pretty much everything. Let's see what else do we have in here. The white balance is technically where you are going to play with the temperature. Uh, you can make it warm, you can make it colder. But at the end, it depends on the results that you want to get. So, I have a, a preview of the additions that I was doing uh, earlier. I think it's in the downloads or something. Yeah, I'm going to close this because I'm not going to have too much time. Yeah, I wasn't fighting with all that kind of things. So, this is sort of how my final result was. You can see all the plugins that I have been using and you can check one by one all the things that I add. This is, was turned off, this was turned off, and I should turn this off. Oh, I can turn it off. Anyway, uh, if you want to go backwards, let's just say that, I, that you mess up and you have no idea what the hell you change, you can just click in the history and you will be turning on and off all the things that you were doing. So at the end, you can go back to, let's just say, one of the previous uh, changes and you will have everything back on. And you can see some of, some of the changes. Finally, but not less important, if you want to export this picture, you're going to the light table, you will select the image, it's currently. You have a lot of options in here, but the most important right now is this one, oops, is this one, where you can target uh, where you have to export the image. I'm gonna put it where I have the friends pictures open and just simply export. There is a lot of crazy like quality and uh, uh, things that you can edit, but we're going to make it easier. Or just hit Control E, which makes it easier. So it's exporting in really soon, depending on how fast is your computer and how many crazy stuff you add to this image. You will see your photo being appearing in there. Should appear in there somewhere. Oh, it's still exporting. I think I add too much crap. Anyway, uh, the good thing, one of the things that I like about Darktable is that it's not making an addition on my picture. You have an, a, a different file with all the configurations that you're adding into your original file. So you will always have an original file, which is pretty cool. So that's it. And uh, what I'm going to do is to open this. I think I have somewhere. Oh, yes, I have it somewhere. I'm going to open this and you can see the final result. Maybe because I was increasing a lot uh, the exposure, I'm going to have a lot of grain. But, well, uh, it seriously depends on the things that you uh, really want to add and how much you do want to push the image. 
So as I said, do not forget to get to different people uh, galleries. You have a lot of things to learn, not only about framing, but also about colorization and stuff. Do not forget to visit the website of the people of Dark Table. And you know, you have a lot of resources, documentations. You can follow the development and report some bugs. And you can definitely say OK here. You can go to the channel and say hi to the guys. I can say hello. And that's how I'm going to finish this. Uh, have a nice day. Bye bye.